what's up guys and welcome back to the channel and we're back with another episode of hidden affair um if you guys don't remember what happened in the last episode um basically um miss eloise and thigo kind of had a moment um together in the office and they were supposed to talk but no talking actually happened um uh our girl miss isabella and carlos told um told gabriel about them being together but they haven't told him news about the baby so and he punched well he kind of beat carlos up so you know he, you, you'll we're gonna have to see how he reacts with the baby news and our girl miss eloise went to go see nora and nora had some some movement going on she she seemed to be you know waking up a little bit so our girl miss nora miss nora she might be waking up soon i don't know how long it's been since this has happened to nora I'm assuming a few weeks um, since this has happened to her. I'm going to assume it's been a few weeks, but I'm not going to see her and be like, oh, yeah, definitely. But, um, yeah, that's basically what has happened. Um, but, yeah, we'll just jump into the episode and see what is the tea. Guys, we only have one more episode um, and then we'll be caught up with hidden affair so we'll have to find something else to read pretty soon but let's get into the episode and see what's the tea guys you're late i had a lot of things to catch up on at work we love the dress she has on it's very cute i cooked help yourself what's that look for you cooked well i put it in the oven happy I was actually hoping we could talk over dinner, but if I waited any longer, I would have starved. I've been meaning to speak with you about something too, but go first. What do you want to talk about? Or should I say, what do you want? A bag, shoes, jewelry. I want to go to Mexico. I've been thinking of visiting Papa. I think that's a good idea. I It'll make things easier, too. For who? The both of us. What do you mean by that? This. Are you out of your damn mind? My mind is the clearest it's ever been. Absolutely not. I will not sign this. I want you to go to play with me. Divorce is not an option. You're acting like a child. Don't be belitt belittle me. I'm sick of you and your damn attitude. I'm sick of you're sick of my attitude. Sign the papers, woman, and be done with it. Don't raise your voice at me. You know what I'm sick of? This every damn day. If you just listen to me, no, I'm done listening. I thought we could go about this like adults, but clearly that's not going to work. So now you listen to me. I don't want to be with you. I don't love you, and I definitely don't see a future with you. Is that fucking clear enough? Don't let him see you cry. This is all because of that bitch, isn't it? What? You know exactly what I'm talking about. Ever since we moved here, you haven't been able to tear yourself away from her. That dragged up money grubbing flimsy. One kid at her age, and what do you see in a woman who's already been used already? Watch that damn mouth. And dragged up money grubbing? Have you looked in that fucking mirror? If you had it your way, you would have trapped me with a kid a long time ago. I've done no. No! Sign. Don't sign. I don't give two shits. I'll be divorcing you with or without your signature. My lawyers will make sure of it. There you go. Don't you walk away from me. We're not finished here. No, no, it looks like you are. It looks like you are. Pop up. There you go. All the damn roses. You need to do something about them. Forget about all that. Listen. 
Ooh, it's about to get ugly. It is about to get ugly. It's like trying to get in a Fort Knox. How the hell are criminals so good at hiding stuff? We've found nothing but duds and dead ends for weeks. I hand it to them. They're clever pieces of shit. I wonder how long it took them to build a bulletproof empire. Diego Ruiz has even got the police licking his balls. It just screams America. Maybe we draw the line through the USA. We could go back to our roots and open up a chain across Japan. No, no, Jacuzzi. We started from the ground up. I'll be damned if I let two Mexican gangsters make me ditch our business here. I'm going to get a coffee before I fall asleep with my eyes open. Grab me a frappe too, extra calm. Holy cow, Jacuzzi, I think I cracked work knocks. This is the seventh time you said that. No, this time I'm dead serious. I could swear on my your life. Leave my life out of this. And it's really not a dud. This. This is the cherry on top of the fucking cake. $43 million tucked in a shady offshore trust and shell companies. This is a bloody gold mine. That's non-compliance tax evasion money laundering. They'll be looking at seven years in prison minimum and unlimited fines. That could even get their business license stripped with this. The real work starts now, Jaquees. The Roosers are going to wish they never stepped foot in the U.S. by the time we finish with them. And I can't wait to see everything they own burn to the ground. You know what? I I didn't even really care for their characters. But now I'm kind of like, are you just mad? Because, And even if they did start their business with drug money and whatever else why are you so upset about that like grounded yeah y'all started from the ground up and just try a little harder or get out of markets that they're in do something that they're not doing there's so many other ways that you can have your business without going to the depths of trying to ruin theirs granted they probably would have had their business together if they spent more time actually doing business instead of looking to theirs but all these outfits are cute but i think we're gonna go with this one today and a girl looks perfect actually no she looks perfect mm -hmm. my heart is pounding thank god's heart isn't at the desk right now to tease me <gasps> yellow our man looks real good in yellow <laughs> come in Hi, honey. No need to stand so far. I'm not gonna bite. That's exactly what you did yesterday, though. You even got me wearing a turtleneck in the heat, in the height of Miami summer. Can you blame me? You were wearing a cute little purple dress, and after two weeks, there's no way I have the patience of a saint. Can you read mine, though? Your thoughts are written all over your face and more. So, questions. Is your life in danger? What do you think I should know? Is your life in danger? <laughs> That's what we really need to know. I mean, is, are you, could we get killed being with you? Is your life constantly in danger? Yes and no. My identity isn't a secret, so I guess there's always a threat to my life. But I don't get involved unless it's... Goyer? Unless Guerre war. I'd go to war over my family. I'd go to war over you. What, what, what do you mean? If there was a threat to your life, I'd make sure it ceased to exist. I wouldn't let anyone lay a finger on you. Ever. And if they did, the next thing they'd be sleeping in is a coffin. Although I didn't want to admit it, those words made me s my stupid little heart flutter. Calculating points. Get your feelings off your chest. I, I've actually really missed you. Say that one more time. I missed you. I know it's only been a few days, but 
I'm not used to not having you around, and I hate the fact that you were avoiding me. I thought giving you space was the best thing I could do for you at that time. But the past few weeks have taught me that I don't want to live without you by my side. And I mean every word. Please forgive me. There you go. Please get up. You don't have to go this far. You know. You are the only woman. The only person in this world who could bring me to my knees. Lord, the things this man's words do to me. Because <laughs> he is smooth. He is smooth. S but still, I have to think about Cody too. I would never let any harm come to you or Cody. Everything would be the same as how it's been. But isn't that part of the problem? You're a mo Peter? Is everything okay? What? Um, yeah, of course. I'll, I'll be right there. Nora's become responsive. Real estate, Mexico. That is huge. The place is ginormous. I really just re really looked at the picture. The place is huge. Just get it done. You have until midnight, unless you and Pedro run out bullet through you the kneecap. He's still in a foul mood, just peachy. Come on, no? Where is he? In his villa. And you've come to convince me about you to save your breath. But Gabriel, he's not good for you, Isabella. Why? Because he's a part of the mafia? You're being a hypocrite. You're also part of the mafia. He has blood on his hands. And you don't? Do you think some pretentious Pedro who was born with a silver spoon is supposed to be a better option? You think anyone like that would be willing to marry the daughter of daughter of a cartel boss you think anyone like that has a loyal bone in their body carlos is he's my only option now what do you mean now whoops these hormones he, he's been by my side for as long as i can remember which is exactly why i'm telling you he's no good if you push him out i will leave this family too isabella ruiz i love him gabriel nothing will you say will change that just because you lost the love of your life doesn't mean you should rip everyone else's away from theirs oh that cut deep i know that did she cut him deep it's a pillow uh. fuck nothing is going right lately or am i going about everything wrong you're probably going about everything a little wrong you want everything about everything a little wrong. Eloise? I got here as quickly as I could. Mr. Riz, sorry to have come empty handed. We rushed straight here. No need to apologize. I'm grateful that my mother has neighbors kind enough to race here. The doctor was just feeling me in. Is she awake? Not quite. Her nervous system isn't fully functional yet, so while Nora is more alert, she isn't able to communicate fully. Huh? So, how do you know that she's become responsive? Miss Schmidt is able to respond physically. She's been squeezing my hand, Eloise. I asked her to squeeze my hand once if she was in pain, and twice if she wasn't. She squeezed it twice. Honestly, it feels like a miracle. So, she still hasn't recovered? Can I go in and see her? Uh, can I go in and see her? Like, we want to see our girl. All of these interactions will help her recover. Recovery. Then I'm going to go and speak with her straight away. Guess my news can wait until a little later. I won't take this moment away from her. I'm going to go to the bathroom. Make it quick, I'm busy. What do you mean you don't know where Veronica is? You think she did what? I'll be there in 15. No, make it 10. I can never get the break. Um, I hope he ain't drive us, because... I want to see Veronica is getting up to. No, we don't care, because we're going to find out anyway. Um... <laughs> 
But that's all that I have for you today, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Um, guys, we got one more episode after this one, and then we're gonna have to find another story to read because, um, yeah, she she's a goner. Well, not a goner, but we'll be caught up. So we'll have to find something else to read. One of you guys suggested one story, and I've been trying to look for it, but I can't find it. So if I can't find it, I guess we'll read something else. But anyway. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, as always. And of course, guys, I will see you in the next video. Bye.